hello beautiful and welcome to my wahib home in today's video i want to burn test the essential oil candle that i made with you in last week's video i think the week before now but if you haven't seen that video i'll link it down below i have been curing the candle for two weeks now usually when i make essential oil candles i cure them between seven to ten days but because I know I wanted to film this video for you, I have left it for a little bit longer. Which doesn't make or break the candle. I think with essential oils, you'd want it to bind with the wax really well. So I feel like the longer you keep your essential oil curing, the better. I wouldn't say, you know, go extreme and cure it for a whole month. But I think 10 days would should be more than enough. I do want to smell the cold through with you guys. But first things first, I want to go through the notes with you so i use patchouli ylang ylang neroli and grapefruit to make my essential oil candle and i use this 400 gram amber jar that i picked up from candle shack and i'll leave everything that i'm mentioning down below the wicks i've also used are three stabilo twos and i'm genuinely cannot wait to burn it i'm gonna burn it in the living room it's a much bigger space it's a massive candle i think so um it's I'm hoping my goal is this candle will fill the living room. I want to give it a sniff and kind of test the notes. As you guys know, when, when you're making essential oils, you want to make sure that you're getting every note correct. And I want to make sure I'm smelling all the notes. And this is where your nose comes into play. If you feel like you've put too much patchouli in, uh, you've kind of lost your other notes, then maybe you should less your patchouli and up your other notes, if I'm making sense. In today's case, I'm going to give it a good sniff. Oh, you guys, it smells so calming. It smells so... It just smells incredible. I wish that you can smell it with me so... I can smell the the notes that I can smell really well are ylang ylang and patchouli. I can smell the hints of neroli there. I think what I've lost in my mixture is the grapefruit. I think when I make when I make this mixture again, I will put yet less ylang ylang because my ylang ylang is a base note, so it, it will be in my candle regardless because it's a very strong note. And I'll up my grapefruit. I think instead of putting three milliliters of gra of grapefruit, I'll actually put about five or six, so I can uh, get my grapefruit really coming through. Because what I was smelling them in the strips in last week's video the grapefruit really uplifts the other notes which i'm not really getting i can smell the ylang ylang really well patchouli really well the neroli really comes through after you've taken a really good sniff um but i would love the grapefruit to come through a little bit more to give my other notes a good push which is my feedback in today's cold throw but other than that you guys the cold throw is coming through absolutely incredible i'll give it an eight out of ten cold throw just because i'm losing the grapefruit but if i had the grapefruit there it would have been a 10 out of 10 cold throw you can smell the cold throw very well in my candle you don't need to sit there and look for it or you've lost your scent is it's just absolutely incredible i love love my rcx wax with essential oils it just it pairs honestly perfectly i highly recommend rcx wax pairing it with essential oils and you can thank me later i've had i think one or two comments about essential oils catching on fire and my advice to you is when when you want to buy essential oils don't buy them from places like amazon or like going to your local stores and picking up essential oils buy them from a candle supplier like candle shack nakura white rose essential oils um i'll link everything down below so you guys know where to shop around the nakora essential oil smells absolutely incredible i absolutely loved it in in my candle so i definitely recommend that you try them out as well um and i think their pricing the uh, their prices are a little bit more affordable than the other than my other two usual supplies that i use so definitely shop around with candle supplies when you're working with essential oils and don't go to your local store like your holland and barrett or uh, or, or tesco's or sainsbury's and pick up an essential oil and make a candle with it i've also seen a lot of tiktok videos now that autumn now that we are in autumn like tiktok videos instagram reels youtube shorts where people are literally getting their candle supplies they're not candle makers like me and you but they just want to make something aesthetic from literally amazon and i don't recommend that you buy any candle supplies from amazon always buy it from a candle supplier that sells supplies specifically for candles and also avoid putting 
avoid putting like crystals and flowers in your candles i know it's I know it looks absolutely incredible it really does and it looks aesthetic it goes with your home and I don't blame you if you do want to take that step but do be careful because when you're using something like flowers or to, to put in your candles when if the flame caught on your flower or the aesthetic flower that you have in your candle that could cause a fire in your candle so please be careful when you're doing when you're making candles and you're putting gems and crystals and everything in your candle I put it's not my style I wouldn't go for for it i recommend against it if i'm being honest it saves you from your candle catching on fire so i've been rambling for the last six minutes i am going to turn this baby on and i'm actually going to burn test it with you guys i just need to get my notebook from upstairs which i forgot to bring down and just to let you know that i poured my essential oils into my wax after i melted it at 50 degrees celsius so if you do want to pick up your rapeseed and coconut wax and pick up your essential oils from the supplies that i recommended um try pouring your essential oils in your wax at 50 degrees celsius even you can even go at 48 degrees with rcx wax it's absolutely fine but be careful not to go any lower than that because i feel like the candle starts to cool down and then uh, it might cause separation between the fragrance and the wax i hope that makes sense let's burn this baby i just need to go grab my lighter i'll be right back it's been a while since i tested three wicks in a candle so i'm really looking forward to see how that works so this is for the first hour burn you guys and there we go look how gorgeous that looks it literally looks like a light bulb it's incredible the wicks are all on three stabilo twos let's fingers crossed they give us the results that we're looking for i'm gonna place it literally on the table here see you in a bit first hour burn i can't believe my wicks are dying on me this is like really sad but at the same time it's a learning curve because i don't usually it's been a very long time since I tested a three wicked jar. Um, it's safe to say that the Stabilo threes would probably be work would probably work a little bit better. I still have a pool of melted wax, which is great. These three wicks are really trying for me. I'm hoping by the second hour burn I'll get a little bit more of a larger pool, but I can't expect it to burn everything with the flames being this small however the good news is actually with the flames being this small i can actually still smell a hot throw surprisingly i can still smell a hot hot throw which is incredible i will need to retest this again this is why i say essential oils is a little bit more expensive because essential oils themselves are expensive and tested that testing them is even more expensive because if one candle doesn't work out then you have to do the same for another candle and you have to really get the notes correct and there's a lot of trial and error in essential oil candles but that, do that doesn't personally bother me or upset me it's just a bit of a longer process that you guys need to bear in mind and be okay with i can't see any mushrooming on my wicks which is great i'm gonna give it another hour i'm, I'm actually gonna burn it with you for four hours and see if these flame flame heights will last with me um but yeah i'll see you guys in another hour this is for the second hour burn my hot throw is the first thing that i want to start with because i'm having lunch in the kitchen and then as soon as i came into the living room it literally smells incredible i think if i had the stabilo threes in my candle i would most likely smell the hot throw up until the kitchen because it honestly smells so good in here given how small and struggling my flames are it smells really good i think if we go down to the flame this flame right here is the one that 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 i can see more of a flame rather than the two on this side but it's trying to melt as much as possible but it's still a bit struggling to be honest guys and i'd be lying if i didn't say i'm a little bit annoyed because there's a lot of wax in this in this jar and we spent a lot of time creating this candle for my wicks not to end up burning properly but again to to always look at the positive perspective things 
things like this have to happen so I know which wick to use in my next burn test. But for sure, Stabilo 2s are not the ones for these three wick candles. I think the Stabilo 3s or even the Stabilo 4s. Even if I... I should have actually... Now that I'm thinking back, I should have actually started with bigger wicks rather than smaller wicks. Because it's easier to wick down to, than to wick up. Um, but yeah, that's okay. Again, um, I'll see... I'll check in with you guys again on the third hour burn. But from a hot throw perspective, it's still pretty much there. And I think it'll be a lot stronger had I be had I had the right wicks for my candles. But other than this, I'll check in with you guys again on my third hour burn. I'm sure there won't be any drastic changes, but I'd love to keep an eye out on the candle and see if it's if it's gonna burn anymore. Um, I'm probably gonna foil it a little bit just so I can trap the heat. I actually might do that actually now, so I can trap as much heat and can get as much wax melted as possible um but yeah i'll show you guys that on the third hour burn okay my lovelies as you guys can see here i tried to actually put a foil around my candle to try to try and trap the heat in but when i've come back i've actually didn't realize that all my flames put themselves out and i literally just switched them back on so um it's safe to say that these wigs are definitely not working i'm gonna need to try and find a way to melt all the wax because i feel like it's such a waste i'm gonna try put this back on and see if I can just get as much wax melted as possible. Again, this is the reality of making candles and candle making and testing and just trying different types of ways. Again, I think I should have honestly started off with big wicks like stabular threes or fours and then worked my way down rather than start with small wicks and working my way up, which tends to be a little bit trickier, but that's okay. I can only learn from my mistakes um but yeah so i'm just gonna leave it as that i will see you in my next video let me just show you this is basically how it looks like with a foil so it can trap all the heat and try and melt as much wax as possible but i'm not gonna do that with you today i'm just gonna leave it like this for a few hours and hopefully it can melt some wax but yeah before i end today's video while i was editing i actually didn't like the way i closed out today's video and i thought about an idea that i had a conversation with one of you a few of you actually a few months back now or maybe a little bit less than that but it's about wickless testing in a case like this you guys where your wax is where your candle sorry is not burning your candle switching itself off your candles tunneling just not, nothing is working in my case literally and you've got this much wax especially in essential oils when your when your fragrance is so expensive your wax is so expensive you wouldn't want this to go to waste honestly my heart breaks thinking like me having to throw this wax away so the solution is wickless testing what i'm gonna do one of you had recommended me to get from amazon like an apple core remover it comes like in a really i'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen and i'm literally gonna dig it into my wax and then remove the wicks melt the wax with the heat gun and then wait 24 hours before i insert brand new wicks and literally the same positioning but this time around i won't have any wick stickers obviously to the bottom of my wick it will be completely wickless i'll just have like this much wick in my in my candle burn that and see if that works honestly i think this candle is worth burning i had an amazing hot throw even though the wicks were very tiny i still had a good hot throw but unfortunately my candle didn't last very long because it kept on switching itself off so that is a very good idea that literally popped to mind when i was thinking what am i gonna do with all this wax for sure i don't want to waste it so i have to figure out another way and then literally my conversation with a few of you had popped up and I was like, wickless testing, of course. I can literally just get rid of the wicks and then do my test again without having to feel bad of wasting my wax. I can burn my wax all the way through. I'm actually going to go up to three stabilo fours, but maybe I'll do a wickless testing video because in a case like this, I found that idea is so helpful i'm still taking advantage of the beautiful hot throw of my essential oils i can burn it any anywhere in the house for my next candle of this size i, I will know what wicks what wick to use next time so that's for sure a pro literally i do have a wickless video up that i posted 
ages ago when I was first beginning my candle journey but I think it'd be a really good idea for me to do like a refresh wicklist testing because I found it I found it so handy when I thought about the idea in today's video but yes I am going to leave you right here please make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below like comment and share and I'll see you in my next video bye guys